Today I want to talk about two things that I really dig combined with each other, and that is superheroes and zombies. Now a comic book event that I really love that combines these two is either Marvel Zombies or Deceased. But specifically today, I want to talk about Deceased. Now I love this event so, so much because there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in it, like Batman becoming a god, Plastic Man stretching into a beast kind of like Cthulhu, Mirror Master grabbing little kids through mirrors and eating them alive, it's just tons of things to unpack. But one story involving this universe involves one of my favorite speedsters ever, and that is Wally West. It's basically him trying to save the people of Keystone City while simultaneously trying not to get bit, because if a speedster were to get bit, you can already imagine how fast that speedster could just infect multiple people throughout the world. And that ends up happening to Barry Allen as he infects literally millions in just minutes. It's just one of the craziest stories and I wanna talk about it today, so let's get into it. As we start the story, it starts off dead in the center of the apocalypse and Wally West tells his wife, Linda Park, to just stay inside, don't look at any screens, and don't open the door for anyone as he rushes out as the Flash. Speeding out into the city like a bat out of hell to save anybody that he can in Keystone City, he recalls that this virus has spread faster than anything he's ever seen before in his life. Appalled at the sight that people are just tearing each other apart. But if Wally West just stands still and watches it all happen, he can't save anyone. So he tries to rush through the city as fast as possible smashing screens everywhere he goes so that nobody can get infected by the technological zombie virus. Wally West runs faster than he's ever run before to try and save every individual person in Keystone City. Faster than sound, faster than thought, running faster than the speed of light, even getting pulled into the speed force for a brief moment. But that's only until Batman ends up calling Wally West to basically tell him to hide away because if he gets bit or scratched, he could infect the entire world in seconds. But because Wally West is such a hero, he doesn't listen to Batman and instead tells him that he's going to take the chance and try to save as many people as he possibly can. And before hanging up, Wally West wishes the Bat Family good luck, but he doesn't know that basically half of the Bat Family has died, as Batman hangs up the call wishing Wally West good luck. However, as soon as the call is hung up, Wally West starts to feel overwhelmed because he can't be everywhere all at once to save the people that are not infected. So while Max Mercury and Impulse are doing their day-to-day -day stuff, Wally West comes crashing through their house, breaking every screen so they can't get infected. Once breaking all the screens, Wally West would use the powers of the Speed Force to basically fill in all the speedsters on the zombie apocalypse in seconds, telling each of the speedsters in the room to go out and save as many many people as they can. And while speedsters like Impulse, Max Mercury, and Jesse Quick all save people in Keystone City, Wally West tries to save whoever he can in Central City in New York. Even going to Gotham City, running into villains like Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, just running everywhere all over the world seeing the same thing death. And running all over the world realizing there's nowhere safe, Max Mercury has an idea that they could just run to an entirely new world. So all the speedsters run together and make a beeline to the Tandem Cosmic Treadmill, which is a treadmill that can be used to open a hole in space and enter different worlds, but it needs the power of two speedsters. So Max Mercury assigns Impulse and Wally West to run on the treadmill to open up the gateway, while Max Mercury and Jesse Quick try to rally up as many survivors as possible to put them through the portal to the next world. So hopping on the treadmill, Wally West and Bart Allen run faster than they've ever run in their life before, while Max Mercury and Jesse Quick begin the evacuation. After opening the gateway to the next world, Linda Park is one of the first survivors to go through the portal. And after 12 minutes, they almost save everyone, but Impulse is starting to get weaker and weaker as he continues to run, until Impulse inevitably gets so weak that he ends up falling off the treadmill and blasts through the wall behind them, leading Max Mercury to yell at Wally West to keep the door open as long as possible while he goes back out to save Impulse. Meanwhile, over at Impulse's point of view, he blasted so far out of the building that he's now in the middle of an entire horde of zombies. And Max Mercury, knowing that he's not as fast as he used to be, knows that if he goes out there, he could possibly get bit and die, saving Impulse. Meanwhile, back it over at Wally West, he struggles to keep the portal open as his lungs feel like they're on fire because of how fast he's running, ultimately unable to keep the portal open for much longer. But before Wally West can fall back from exhaustion, Max Mercury grabs Impulse and Wally and shoots right through the portal, landing in the alternate Earth as the portal behind them closes. And right as they think they've all finally escape this nightmare forever, it turns out that Max Mercury himself got bit while trying to save Bart Allen. And because Max Mercury is a speedster, he feels the virus coursing through his veins, knowing that he can turn into a zombie at any given moment. So he tells Wally to end him now. But instead of killing Max Mercury, Wally West instead thinks of another idea, sending Max Mercury through the speed force. So Max Mercury says his goodbyes to Impulse, and runs long enough alongside Wally West until the speed force opens itself to Max Mercury. As Max Mercury turns around to 
to thank Wally West before becoming a blue streak in the Speed Force, outpacing pain and outpacing death. Able to run in the Speed Force forever, at peace knowing that his family will be okay. Ending the story. I hope you all like this story as much as I do, because it's one of my favorite Wally West stories in general, and it also takes place in DC, and you guys already know how much I love DC, because I mentioned it so much in the beginning of the video. But anyways, I hope you guys like the video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you all on the flip side.